Okay folks, today we're working with Ivy and her perimeter training. Um, perimeter training is teaching a dog to basically stay in the yard while they go out and use the bathroom. And so, um, prior to me starting to teach her perimeter, she would get tied down to this lead and would just go outside. When she's done, she would come back in. Well now, we're working with Ivy just to come, sit down, wait for me to tell her to go out, let her go and do her business, and then she'll come back in and sit down and I'll give her an out. And so let's go ahead and get started. Ivy, come. Come on, girl. Good girl. Good girl, Papa. And so she sat down here. Tell my camera works not that great. So now I'll open the door, which I just did. She's still sitting there. Ivy out. Let her go out. Go on, go potty. And she likes to go over there, go potty. They like to go around that corner for some reason. But she's been venturing off more into the yard lately to do whatever she's going to do. Which is fine with me as long as she don't leave the yard. I had an excellent video of her in the yard with the mailman um, walking by. And she just watched them walk by and didn't even leave the yard. She didn't even leave the yard. But I accidentally deleted that video and so now we'll just have to wait for the next person to come by she's doing her business now and so but no leash just kind of and see what she wants to do here I'm going to go ahead and step inside. See how she reacts. It's just kind of doing her thing. And so it's kind of important that you teach your dog, even if you have a fenced in yard, you teach your dog to stick close by to the house, to stick close to its home, stay within the perimeters of the house. This way, even if the gates open and the dog gets out, he won't leave home. And look guys, look at this. She's just coming right back up to the porch. Now I'm gonna open up the door here. Let her come in. She should go over there and sit down. That's what she should do. Over here, Ivy. Come on. So she's actually sitting in the wrong spot. Uh, I had to close the door. Super hot outside. Now she's sitting in the right spot. And I'll leave her sit there for a while. And I teach them to sit down when they come in so that you know, if it's rainy out or muddy out and they have muddy paws, you can clean their paws and, um, you know, things of that nature. They should, you, if you have, um, if she's on a leash, she can sit down calmly. You can take the leash off, hang it up. That way, you know, the, the dog's not all wild and just running through. And she's just waiting for me to give her the command. So, what if you have an arm full of groceries, you know, and the dog's on a leash? She comes in, she sits down, you can go and put your groceries on the table, come back, take the leash off your dog, hang it up on the wall or put it wherever you put it, and then you can give the command out, and she'll leave that area. Okay, that's that.